we will start the new lesson which is 4.3 uh, which is about succession right succession 4.3 you have page 106 page 106 the lesson we have it's about succession uh, anyone who can tell me about succession what does it mean anyone who can tell me please about succession The word succession mean gradually change, gradually or very slowly slight, slight change, slowly change. That is called what? That is called succession. Meaning in terms of English, right? Meaning in terms of science, it is different from because science need a complete explanation. So meaning in terms of science, we have to look for its definition. So if you look to the definition of succession, so it is related to the ecosystem. The definition of succession is equal to what? Uh, it's related to ecosystem. So changes which occur with the passage of time in ecosystem, right? That is re related to what? That is related to succession. But if you look here in succession, it will be slowly changes. It will be slow changes. I will give you just example. If you look before five years, you remember? Before five years, uh, when you are in grade five or four. So in December, in January, especially in November and January, February, this month, we have tomorrow, February will start, right? So if you look in this month, if we are in grade four or grade five, so at that time, today, as much we have the temperature down, at that time, it was not like this, right? It was supposed to be like temperature was supposed to be about two, uh, about 25 in these days. But if you look temperature today, so today we have down, uh, we have seven and up we have 16 today, right? Yes. So I mean it's very cool temperature right now. But before five years, it was not like this. It was between 18 to 30, round about at the end of January or even in November. Just slightly for 20, 25 days in December, in late December and early January, it was coming below 10 or it was coming below 15. So this is what this is slightly changed due to global warming. At the time is going ahead, so the temperature is getting colder here, right? Most probably next year it will be more colder than this, right? After 10 years, you will have a complete winter. We have only before, how much winter we were having here? One month, right? One month we were having winter. This time, it's two months. Or even more than two months, right? Because it starts from December. At the start of December, we were having such cool temperature. And still today, we have cool temperature. And for coming 10 days, still we have this temperature. To me, before when I came here, before four years, so the temperature in these days, it was not like this. It was more direct temperature, but here now it's very, it's very cool. It's five, uh, in the previous week, the temperature reached to zero. Right? It reached to one and zero, so it was so harsh. So that is ecological condition, ecological changes. It comes with the time, but it comes very slow, right? The one which I give you example for temperature from last five years, so it is also not slow. It is very fast change, right? If you are talking about ecological, so that will be very slow changes, right? So the succession is what? Ecosystem change over time, especially after disturbance, as some species die out and new species move in, right? That example I gave you, that was just general, right? But if you look to the succession, so related to the succession, or if you look to the definition of the succession, so a definition of the succession is that ecosystem will change, right? Ecosystem. Just one minute. If you look to succession, so ecosystem change over time, especially in case of what? Especially after disturbance as some species die out and new species move in. Some species die in the passage of time and some species comes in. 
so that will lead to what that will lead to succession right mean change how do the community change over time so the community change over time due to the succession and succession is which process in which change occur in the community change occur in the ecosystem due to any source right uh, due to any disturbance so the disturbance will be environmental mostly right like if you look back uh in just 2020 i think right 2000 previous year is 2020 2020 or 21 when there was the fire took place in the scuria forest just 18 month before right so more than one year what happened here actually the, the entire fire is uh, the entire forest take uh, take fire So what happened? All the species, all the animals which was there, they were burned out, right? So this species was burned out. Now it will take a lot of time to replace that species, right? It will take a lot of time to re replace that species. So some some new species will come, right? So a lot of thousands of animals die in that forest, right? Or you can see in in Turkey when the earthquake came before, right? One eight nine month ago. So what happens? A lot of animals were dying out. So these are what these are natural disturbances due to which a lot of animals die and new animals comes in. Now, if you look to the succession, succession we have some types: primary and secondary type. Succession is divided into two categories, right? Into two types. Ecological succession is a series of more or less predictable changes that occur in a community over time. So, ecological succession, change in the ecology, right? Change in the atmosphere, change in the place we are living. Okay. Uh, it will occur in the series, right? Uh, as I told you, the ecological changes or succession, it will be very slow. You have to keep this thing in mind, and it will be very slow, right? Sometimes we didn't even feel it. Sometimes we didn't even feel it. There's certain changes are occurring in the ecology. Ecological succession is a series of more or less predictable changes that occur in a community over time. So it will comes with the passage of time. As I give you a few example, right? But the example which I give that is not as slow as succession should be, right? Succession should take even hundred years, right, or more. Over the course of succession, the number of different species present typically increases. So. when the succession is going to take place so the number of different species present there will be typically increased right and some can even disappear they can increase but some can disappear even now we have the type of the succession of succession we have two types primary succession and secondary succession right the example which is given in your book that is starting from 15 year to 115 year right this is example which you can see in the book this is based on how much time based on 15 years starting from 15 years to 115 years so it shows series of succession uh volcanic explosion can create new land or sterilize existing area what is volcanic eruption volcanic eruption hmm what is volcanic eruption what happened actually in volcanic eruption yeah. volcanic eruption actually it's create or sterilize the land it creates new land right like when a volcanic eruption comes out <clears throat> so it will comes it comes out let's suppose in any sea right so there will be it will boil like a mountain it will boil like iceland right or if come if it come on the land so it will sterilize the land right because it will kill the entire organism which is present here because it is too high temperature it is having retreating glaciers can have the same effect if you take volcanic er eruption or if you take glacier so they will have the same effect leaving only exposed the bare rocks behind them so it will just leave exposed rocks behind them if we are talking about the glaciers or if you are talking about the volcanic explosion or volcanic eruptions succession that began in an area with no 
remains of an older community is called primary succession. Let's suppose there is an area, right? And succession occur. Uh, uh, any environmental influence occur, like for example, uh, volcanic eruption occur, let's suppose, right? Volcanic eruption occur. So it will clear the entire range. The place mean where it's occur, it will clear it. There will be no organism, right? There will be no animal, there will be no plant, right? There will be no microorganism. So it will be clear completely. And this we call what? This we call primary succession, right? That when it's going to clear, right? Nothing will remain there. No organism will remain there. So it will be cleared out. That we will call what? That we will call succession, uh, primary succession. Okay. The first species to colonize barren areas are called pioneer species. So now, after the primary succession, uh, what will happen? When the primary succession occurs, the entire organism are being removed. When the entire organism are being removed, so then what will happen? Then a pioneer species will appear. Pioneer species will appear. And what does pioneer species mean? That organism or that species which will come first and it will start the growth and will colonize. That we call what? That we call pioneer species. It can be any type of species, right? It can be plants, it can be animals, it can be microorganisms. But if you look back to the history of the pioneer species, so they are mostly uh, protests, right? Small organisms like fungus, uh, like bacteria, like algae, a small organism, right? So at the start from the history of evolution, we just see only that. When you will go to chapter 16, 17, and 18, which is related to genetics and evolution, so then you will know that how the first organism evolved, right? One ecological pioneer that grow on a bare rock is lichen, right? Lichen is also a simple organism, small. A mutualistic symbiosis between a fungus and an algae. What is lichen? It is actually, in lichen there are two organisms living together. Lichen is a name of an association in which two organisms are living together. And which type of relationship it is? It is a mutualistic relationship, right? In the previous lesson, if you remember, we studied symbiosis. And symbiosis, we have studied <coughs> what does mutualistic symbiosis mean? We studied it, right? On page number, you can see on page number 103. What does mutualistic mean? Mutualistic relationship or mutualistic symbiosis, what does it mean? Mutualistic relationship is that relationship in which two organisms are living together and they are going to benefit. In which two organisms are living together and they are going to benefit each other. Mean that both the organisms which are living in that place together, both of them will get benefits, right? So here, as a pioneer species, right, or in the primary succession, the organism which are coming first, that is what? That is lichen, right? Or leech. We can say lichen or we can say leech. So leech is what? It is actually a, a mutualistic relationship between what? It is actually a, a mutualistic relationship between Fungi and algae. Two organisms are there, right? We are saying that symbiosis, it will be what? In symbiosis, we are always having two organisms, right? Three type of symbiosis we have. Common cellism, mutual cellism, and parasitism, right? Common cellism in which one will, begin a, uh, one will get benefit and other will not harm, right? Mutualism in which both of them are going to get benefit. Parasitism in which one will get benefit and the other will get disease, the other will get harm. So this one which we have lichen, in which there is fungi and algae, so this is what? This is a mutualistic relationship. Mean that fungi or a single, we have think one, we have fungus and grow of uh, fungus are called fungi, right? So a fungus or a fungi and algae are together, right? In this relationship, in lichen, it's a mutualistic relationship in which Algae and fungi, they are living together and they are not going to harm each other. They will get benefit from each other. Algae will get benefit from fungi 
and fungi will get benefit from algae but they are not going to harm each other so this is called what this is called a mutualistic relationship over time legion convert or fix atmospheric nitrogen over time legion convert or fix atmospheric nitrogen into useful form for the other organisms break down rocks and or edit organic matter to form the soils so if you look to the uh, this relationship right in which algae and fungi are both are there so what is going to happen actually in this uh, the lichens or we can say the fun fungi or the algae they are going to convert or fix the atmospheric nitrogen into what into nitrate right or we can say into useful form the useful form of nitrogen is nitrate or we can say ammonia right so these uh, these lichens right which are algae and fungi what they are doing they are converting atmospheric nitrogen into useful forms and that useful form will be used for used by other organisms right which is coming ahead in their place Besides this, they are going to break down rocks. Besides this, they are going to break down rocks and add organic material to form soil. Right. So when the rocks are break down, uh, nitrogen is being converted into useful form, and right, and soil is formed. The rocks are break down, soil is formed. Certain grasses are also pioneer species. Besides this. Uh, algae and fungi there should be certain grasses which will also be finer species right from which also the species or the life will start on their specific area okay so primary succession did you understand if you have any type of doubt in primary succession or in pine a pioneer species you can ask me then we are moving to the secondary succession Um, clear okay then we have the next which is secondary succession secondary succession will be followed by the primary succession sometime existing communities are not completely destroyed by disturbance so sometime what happened sometime the entire community is not by this uh, the entire community or uh, 100% of the community it is not destroyed by the environmental hazards like for example the example which i gave you in the australian forest right so they were saying from the uh, news that around about 75% of organism are being died in that forest two years before right so 75% mean that 25% organism are still remaining there right so not completely not 100% the organism or not died out so some organism are left right in this situation secondary succession will occur so when there are some organism some species still available which survive right so then the succession or the progression which will occur that will be what that will be secondary succession that will be what that will be secondary succession secondary succession produce faster than the primary succession if you if we talk about the primary succession so primary succession is going to start from the small organism right like for example if, if it is going uh, it is going to start from the protest fungi or algae going to convert atmospheric nitrogen it will take hundreds of years right it is going to convert uh, uh, rocks into soil and then after that some plant species will arise and after the plant species some animal species will arise so it will take hundreds of years right but if we take here if we look to the secondary succession so let's suppose this we have a certain area right we have let's suppose this this just we will take a part of the world right like let's suppose one continent and the one continent earthquake come here or fire come here and the entire continent has been burned down right but still there are some organism on this continent which are still there some species are still there right so now these species will have to start their life again right from their place and go on and they are going to reproduce their new species their new offspring in a part because soil survive 
the disturbance. Soil survived the disturbance. Some animals survived the disturbance. Some species survived the disturbance. So this, as a result, a new and surviving vegetation can regrow rapidly. So if their soil is there, right? Some organism are there. So for them, it is easy to start regrow. Right? It will not take hundreds of years. Just they can start growth on the on, on the time. Right? So it can grow, but still it will take. Like let's suppose before, let's suppose there was let's suppose five million organisms, five million organisms. But now there are only two species remaining. Right? So starting from these two and reaching again to its maximum level, so it can even take hundreds years. Again, it will take a lot of time. Right? But species will remain. Some species are there. Soil is there, so it can start growth quicker as compared to that of the prior species. There. Example here you have, you can see even it's given in your book. Uh, the first example, okay, we will come to it later on. I'm on six page. Often fo follows a wildfires, hurricanes, or other natural disturbance, right? As I told you the same, like it should be continental. It should, uh, no, not continental, sorry. Uh, it should be wildfire, it should be hurricanes, or any natural disaster like earthquake or any time. It should be near. In the case of secondary succession. Thought of these events as a disaster, but many species are adapted to them. Right? So if there is any disaster or any wildfire or hurricane, so some species will survive them. And they will adopt themselves to that. So they will survive. Although forest fire kills some trees, for example, other trees are spired and fire can stimulate their seed to germinate, right? So some seeds are there and when the fire comes, so it will germinate and when the fire finish, it will grow again. Secondary succession can also follow human activity like logging and farming. So secondary succession can also allow human to do its activity, right? So if there is succession in any part, in any part of the world and human reach there, so the human can also play their role in the succession, okay? Uh, a diagram, the first diagram you will see on the book, right? This one I will show you. This diagram, right? Those who don't have it. If you look to this diagram, right? This is the diagram of the primary succession, right? Primary succession means that the entire organism are being washed out, this been removed. So what will happen in 15 year roundabout, roundabout, right? This is just round figure. Round about 15 year. Okay, round about 15 year. It will take to do what? To start the succession, the primary succession. To develop what? To develop lesions to develop protests. And the function of protest is to do what? To convert this rock into soil and convert the free atmospheric nitrogen into the useful form, which is nitrate or ammonia or whatever it is, right? So now this is 15 year, this right, 15 year. Now from 15 to 35 year, we in the coming next 20 years, right? In the coming next 20 year, here we will have some small organism in the terms of plants. Right, so some small plants are being originated here. In the 35 to 80 years, in the next 45 years, some small plants will arise. Right, some small plant will arise, and above 80 to 115 or above, then there should be what? Then there should be a uh, large plant or large organism will come, right? So it, it will take around about hundreds of years, right? Hundreds of years, 200 years or more, right? Depends on the type of the destruction, how the destruction is, right? If it is too severe, so then it will take more time. If it is not so like this, you have. The example of the uh, secondary succession we have here, you can see. So as we said, that secondary succession will always occur faster than the primary succession. Right, secondary succession will always occur faster than the primary succession. So primary succession is take around about 120 year. The example which you took, right? But if you look here to the secondary succession, right? So there in the first 
15 years, nothing was there. No plants, no animals, nothing was there, right? Only the lichens were there, protests were there. But if you look in the primary succession here, uh, sorry, in the secondary succession here. So in the first three years, or we can say three to five years, you can see still there are some plants, small green plants, right? So they can grow quickly, right? In around over five years, it can reach this height. And five to 40 years, it can produce large plants, right? And above 40 years, I mean, in the 40 years, it can get back its, what? its own environment and we can say full a population right so it is what it is quicker as compared to that of the primary succession what is the reason that succession will occur why succession are going to occur mm -hmm. here are some points right um, every organism change Every organism change the environment it live in right every organism has effect on the environment like, for example, we have effect on the environment, right? Either in good sense or either in uh, not in good. As one species alter its environment, other species find it easier to compete for the resources and survive. So if you look to one species, if it's alter the environment, if it's bring changes in the environment, so the other species, the next time in species, it will find it easy to survive in that environment. For example, as a leaching air organic matter, and found soil, mosses and other plants can colonize and grow. Example, we studied in what? In primary succession. As organic matter continue to accumulate, other species move in and change the environment further. So as with the passage of time, the organic matter are going to, the organic matters continue to accumulate, right? So what will happen? Then the other species are going to move and change. The environment further so the passage of times they can change it further over time more and more species can find a suitable niches and survive so with the passage of time uh, more species can find suitable niches and they can survive okay climax communities okay so we will stop here in the next lesson we will continue from here because that is the Climax communities. It is a small topic, but we will do it tomorrow. Today we cannot finish it. Okay, if you have any type of doubt, any type of question till here, you can ask me.